Welcome to the Vopac Tank Terminal London. Protection of the environment, the safety and health of Vopac's employees, customers, suppliers and all those involved is an integral part of our activities here at the London Terminal. You must be aware that there are a number of hazardous products stored throughout the terminal and by following a few simple rules will ensure your visit will be both enjoyable and above all else, safe. On arrival, your site representative will be contacted to confirm your visit. You will also be issued with a visitor's security identity pass. This must be visible at all times and worn in a prominent position above waist height. The Vopac Tank Terminal London is regulated by the International Ship and Port Facility Security Regulations and HM Customs, which means a number of additional security measures are enforced to comply with the regulations. These include random vehicle and non-invasive personal searches of anyone entering this facility. Visitor vehicles entering the terminal will be issued with a vehicle pass by security staff at the gatehouse. This pass must be displayed in a prominent position within your vehicle and returned to the gatehouse when you leave. Security staff will advise where you can park. Vehicles must not be taken onto the operational site unless you've been given express permission from your site representative. Visitors entering the operational area must be accompanied by their site representative at all times. You will also be issued with an electronic card in addition to the security pass. This card must be placed near the detector located at the entrance and exit turnstile to the area. Wait for the indicator light to change to green and an audible tone to sound. This will release the turnstile and allow you to proceed. Please note, there's a minimum age limit of 18 years of age for anyone entering this facility. Photography is not allowed unless authorised. CCTV cameras are used throughout the facility for the purpose of safety and security. Visitors to the VOPAC offices or other non-operational areas are not required to wear protective equipment. However, the wearing of sensible clothing and footwear is requested. Within the operational area of the terminal, there are rules which apply concerning the use of additional protective clothing. This includes the wearing of hard hats, safety glasses, high visibility clothing, and anti-static safety boots or footwear. Additionally, you must ensure your arms and legs are covered at all times. Your site representative will ensure you're provided with the correct safety equipment should you need to enter these areas. During your visit, you must comply with the following. Food and drink must not be consumed in the operational area. Restroom facilities are provided within the office building. Alcohol and non-prescription drugs are strictly prohibited. Random testing of staff and visitors is carried out. Smoking is only allowed in the designated area. Ask your site representative if you need to use these facilities. Firearms and offensive weapons are strictly prohibited. Mobile phones, electrical equipment such as radios and personal music players must not be taken onto the operational site. The highway code applies to this site and is strictly enforced. Vehicle seat belts are to be worn and a speed limit of 10 miles per hour is to be obeyed. Electronic speed checks are performed on site. Pedestrians must keep within designated walkways and use crossing points where provided. Handrails are to be used wherever they're installed.
Throughout your visit to Vopac Tank Terminal London, you will be escorted by your site representative. They will be directly responsible for your safety both within operational and non-operational areas. However, you must be aware of the site alarms and the action to take on hearing them. Our office fire alarm is tested every Wednesday at 11am and our site emergency alarm is tested every Thursday at 11am. Internal office alarms sound like this. while the site emergency alarm sounds like this. If the alarm sounds for more than 30 seconds, you must treat this as a genuine alarm and proceed to the nearest assembly point. Your VOPAC site representative will advise and assist you. If you discover a fire, no matter how small, the alarm must be raised immediately. There are break glass points located throughout the office areas and terminal. Within the operational areas, the alarm must be raised by using the telephones located throughout the area and dialing 250. Do not attempt to tackle a fire unless you are trained to do so. Additionally, while outside, you may hear other types of alarms. These signify operational events and should be disregarded unless you are told to react by your site representative. Despite the best preparations, accidents and injuries can still occur. Our policy is that all injuries and incidents, no matter how slight, must be reported to a VOPAC employee and recorded. First aid assistance and facilities are available at all times. Many of our workforce are also qualified first aiders. Please ask your site representative or any VOPAC employee if you need first aid assistance. At the end of your visit, proceed to the security exit gate and press the intercom button located next to the gate. Inform the security guard of the last three digits on your security pass and then deposit the security pass, including the lanyard and your vehicle pass, into the receptacle below the intercom button. The exit gate will then open. We hope you found this information useful. And most of all, we hope your visit to Vopac Tank Terminal London is enjoyable and safe. If you have any questions about our site rules or company policies, please ask your site representative.